Water Mission was founded as a result of disasters. It's part of our DNA to respond to disasters. Our disaster response program has been at the core of who we are. We've learned a lot over the years. We've gone to various disasters around the globe in over 50 countries, helping where we could, where safe water was needed. We've learned during that time that we really need to look at it in four different areas. The first one is readiness. We need to make sure that we're always ready to go, that people are trained, uh, they know how to uh, walk into a disaster area and respond correctly. The next one is the actual response itself. And when we talk about response, that's where we're on the ground in those early days, providing safe water in whatever way we need, whether it's through a living water treatment system, whether it's through bottled water, whatever we need to do to provide safe water access to those that are in need. The third is about recovery. So once we get past the initial response, then we start looking at, okay, how are we gonna stand this up so that they can start to get back on their feet and then that ultimately leads to resilience so that we can then step out of the response at that point and they can get back to their normal lives in whatever way that may have been. At Water Mission, we respond to many different types of disasters. When you think about natural disasters, you know, even man-made disasters where you've got displaced peoples, war, uh, refugees, and, and even global pandemics like COVID-19. Water Mission was positioned well during COVID-19 to respond. When the whole world tried to stay away from people because of COVID-19, Water Mission said, no, we're going to continue going. Water Mission quickly changed our approach. We had to design programs and response and interventions globally in nine different countries. We installed about 8,000 hand washing stations globally in a matter of weeks. This really created opportunities for Water Mission to build credibility with local government. And when other organizations were stopping operations, we didn't. We rushed alongside local government, rushed alongside local hospitals, and even communities to find a way to make sure that people stayed safe. In disaster response settings, we know that one of the highest and priority needs is safe water. And so Water Mission really gets to step into addressing that need immediately. As Water Mission, we get to bring safe and living water. And when we're in disaster response settings, our teams are building relationships along the way. And this opened doors for us to just hear people's stories uh, get to walk in them in these difficult times, to pray with them, and to show God's love by responding to their physical needs.